Hey folks, welcome to Master Riff 142. I'm going to show you how to play in the main riff and a little bit the verse riff actually to Round and Round uh, by Rat, arguably their biggest hit. Uh, I'm a half step down for this, so I've got E flat here, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, and E flat in the top there. Okay. So this riff is mostly based around uh, an E minor tonality, but we start off with this E major chord. So what I'm playing here is 7th fret of the A string, the 1st finger, and then I'm going to bar the 9th fret of the D, G and B strings with the 3rd finger. I'll do about the 4th as well I guess, but I'm going to use the 3rd. So I play that E chord, then I'm going to play palmuted E string kind of 5 times, or 2 and 3 and 4, 2 and 3 and 4, okay? Then what I'm going to do is kind of form like a little E minor kind of chord shape. But what we're going to actually play here is just the G and the B strings. So by forming the shape here, I'm, I'm kind of like 7th fret the A string with the 1st finger. And then 3rd finger is on 9th fret the D. 4th finger is on 9th fret the G. And my middle finger is on 8th fret of the B string there. That's the chord. But what I'm going to play is just kind of the, the G and the B strings. So that's like the 9 and the G and 8 and the B. Then I'm going to take the pinky off, so that 9th fret on the G string becomes a 7. Like that, okay. Then on this time through I have the open A string palm muted. And I'm going to transition to this shape now. So I palm mute that A string and then my first finger is going to bar the 7th fret of the D, G and B strings. But I've also got my second finger on that 8th fret and B string to continue on from the previous chord. So that kind of goes... Yeah, take that middle finger off to do 7 in the B string. Yeah, then I'm going to shift down, so I'm batting at the 5th fret D, G and B strings with the 1st finger. There's a low palm mute, sounds like it's on the D string, a little bit of the G string as well, just kind of rhythmically to help it on. So the rhythmically actually, last time when we did that palm mute today, it was kind of the end of beat 2, and then this goes 3, and, and then this goes 4, yeah. And what I'm going to do here is play this chord when I'm playing 7th fret of the uh, G, uh, sorry, the B string as well as the bar on the D and the G strings there. Okay, and then it transitions into the next bar where I take that finger off so I've just got 5 in the B string with the rest of the chord. What you're hearing though is mostly the, the G and the B strings. Okay, so that solo that kind of goes like this. Okay, now from here, I'm now going to switch to basically a C uh, bar chord. So my first finger is playing third fret of the A string, and then my third finger is batting across the fifth fret on the G, G and B strings. What I'm doing here is I'm just palm muting on that A string. Again, it's like two and three and four, two and three and four. Then I'm going to play this. Okay. So I'm going to stretch, and this is a bit of a stretch here. My fourth finger plays seventh fret of the B string, and I play just the G in the B string. So I get five in the G and seven in the B string there. Then I palm mute twice in the A string again, and then I've got that fourth finger off to get that chord. So that kind of goes. Okay. Then I'm going to slide to the fifth fret. And I'm going to play this. So I'm now batting, basically I've taken the C chord, moved it up to a D chord, whole shape moves up. And I'm going to do the pinky now in the 8th fret of the B string. And I'm going to t play it, take it off, so I get kind of 8, 7 on the, the B and the G, and then 7, 7 in the B and G. Okay. And then I go. Okay. So from here, and then play open E string. And now I've moved this shape up once again, back to where we started with this E kind of chord. But my fourth finger's on to give this sus4 chord, so I'm playing 10th fret of the B string there. Yeah, then I palm mute the E string twice. And then I've, because I've taken that fourth finger off, and I play the D, sorry, the G and the B strings now, it's just 9th fret on the G and the B. Okay. So slowly, that sequence, um, from the C chord, you have this. Okay. 
Now we pretty much just repeat that again, but there's a little variation. So we've just ended with this. Uh... So we sustain, sustain that chord there, and then we have. So this time it's a little more stripped back. Um, this sounds like a pan muted D, but it's, it's kind of a muted note, so you hit that kind of note. Then we go to our E minor chord shape before. But try and concentrate in just the, the G and the B strings. So there's no pan muted A this time before we do the kind of little sus and the B chord here. We just kind of go. And we still have the pan mute here when we get to the fifth bit. And this is all the same. Yeah. So the verse riff, we've just come up with this uh, end of the riff, is the intro riff. And then we have the verse riff starts with this. This kind of sequence here. So I'm going to start this with a pan mute in the E string. Then I'm going to play fifth fret the A string. A little bit of a pinch harmonic there and plenty of vibrato on it. Then I'm going to play 7 in the A string, pan mute on the E string, 5 in the A string, 2 pan mutes in the E string, and then 5 in that A string again. So this kind of goes. Yeah. Next bar, do pan mute the E string again. Then I'm going to play 5th fret of the A string, slide from 5 to 4 with that first finger. Then I play 5 in the E string. Yeah, so this. That's your 4 notes. Next 4 notes. 4th fret the A string, 7th five the E in the E string. Okay, so slowly that goes like this. Okay, now once we've done this, we get into the next part of the riff and basically what I'm going to do on the beat is two pan mutes on the 3rd fret of that E string. So I'm kind of playing like a G power chord here, so I'm 3rd fret the E string. Fifth at the A string, but the sequence I'm going to play is two pan mutes on the E string, then fifth fret that A string, then one pan mute on the E string, and then fourth fret the A string. So you have this little sequence. Then you do that again, but this time when you get to the fourth fret, you slide to the second fret and then play the open E string, pan muted. So slowly that goes. And then once we've done that, I'm going to slide a D to E power chord up with the 5th fret of the A string here with the 1st finger, 7th fret in the D string. I'm going to slide up, you know, just up a tone, play pan mute E string, and then that E power chord again. Okay, so that kind of verse riff, uh, just a part of it slowly sounds like this. It's a bit weird, so what I recommend you do is when you're doing this bit, because you're playing the third fret going across the end of a bar and the start of a bar there, when you do your four, five, seven, really um, emphasize that downstroke when you get to beat one in that bar. Okay, that's it. Great riff. Um, so. If you want the access to the Sound Slice tab for this, um, the animated tab, or the actual guitar profile, so you can loop it and whatever, please uh, go over to the Master the Guitar uh, Patreon group and you can get all that sort of stuff there for your Patreon, as well as you get access to all the kind of previous lessons. Uh, the Helix patch is also um, an article or post basically about how I got the tone for this uh, video, um, gear, or indeed Martini used, whatever, etc. Uh, you can also get access to backing tracks and various things there as well uh, that you wouldn't obviously see here. Uh, you can also follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook and Twitter if you're on those kind of plat platforms and want to follow me there. Uh, and of course, if you're not subscribed, if this is your first time here, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date uh, with any posts that I do. Uh, I try and keep them regular, but you know, yeah, that way you're always kind of up to date with them. So thanks for watching guys, as usual if you like it please like the video and comment below uh, and I'll hopefully see you soon.